All right. Well, uh, let's see. It's 20 after. Uh, there's only a couple of us learners on here, but we have most of our, all of our mentors, well, most of them on here. Um, is there any any questions that you all have or anything you'd like to discuss or maybe questions you have for us? <clears throat> Melody, um, Dorothy will be here in just a little bit. This is Nanette. Oh, okay. awesome. Put your screen on. It was, it's those two bags sitting on the floor. Oh, go ahead. Okay. My bag to you. Okay. And I'll be back. I'll go get your pop too. Mm -hmm. There you go, Mom. Right here. Okay. I'll get it in a little while. Okay. Am I ready now? Yeah, they're on there. Let me get your pop. Hi, Grandma. Hello. I by no means want to get in anyone's way tonight. I just came to listen in, so don't ask me. I just want to listen. How about for you, Mda? Oh. Matan, how you doing, Yamai? Tong Konga. ยีดอ่าฮัตเตลฮัตเตลฮัตเตลนอเอดอตซาตะดุโตยิมอยาโฮดอมยาเชอรี่แชดเดลสันเตอีตาฮายาอมยานะทงคงโกอีทงคงโ
I heard a Crow Indian, she was a guide up at the Custer's place one time. Her name was Lark, L-A-R-K. And how fitting, her last name was like our own uh, Tugger's uh, daughter. Real Bird. And her name was Lark Real Bird. And I thought that was so pretty. Oh, wow. Y'all go ahead. I just, I just now finished eating, and my daughter asked me if I wanted to hook up because we've got someone in the hospital in Oklahoma City, and they've been going every night. Oh, let's see. Um, as far as who we have tonight for um, our mentors. Oh, hey, there's Grandma Martha now. So we have Grandma D, Grandma Dorothy, Grandma Martha, Miss Marion, Miss Velma. And uh, and I think I saw Judy on here. Yeah. And then uh, Ramon said he had to hop off. He wasn't able to stay on very long today. So uh, mostly uh, mentors. So um, whatever, whatever everyone would like to talk about, it's up to you. Is everybody planning on going to the doings for the the christening of the new building to Red Wolf? Maybe, maybe. Do it, Goodle. Maybe now, I tried lobbying one time for a chapel on the Kiowa grounds that could be used for our religious part when we have a wake or something and not dance in the same buildings and I got bombed. <laughs> So I'm going to start slowing my brain and thinking. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should have. Uh, I'm going. To we should have a place of religion. Now, this is appropriate, mentors. What would we say? No, Adel. I get no, it's Adel. Because Judith put on there, I'm going. No, Adel. I say no, Adel. Wouldn't that be two ways to say it? Oh. Yeah, sounds like it. Just like Tegun. Everybody has scored Tegun, a type of dogs, puppies. But we also have Kalos. They're little bitty puppies, little bitty ones. Kalo. And then we have a Tengi, little horse. Because they used to carry our property all the time. They'd be the ones pulling them. Annette Dolores. I guess. Oh, tell all. So there's three different ways to say it, and they're all right. 
all correct. And I might make it clear to all of you that I, I never used verbs in my Kiwi language. So maybe I do speak it different. I learned this from the, the guy that couldn't talk English, my dad. They only spoke it. They didn't know anything about words. They just described and spoke. Yeah, and I come from the 60s and the 40s, 30s. And uh, Marion has interviewed my mother. So I figure I know a little bit. That's right. And a talk with Louis as well, Louis Tupu. And the worst thing to do is all uh, Hana Alpito. Kind of hurts when you get corrected by some 35, 40 year old person. I've been at this since. Clementi. Well, Melody, sing or something. <laughs> um. Well, how about this? Uh, why don't we go around to why don't we go to each of our mentors and uh, each of you share um, a saying or two that you want us to remember and learn. Let's see, uh, Miss Marion, do you want to start? Just any saying that is important for us to learn and remember. Doesn't have to be a common one. It could be something that you heard growing up. Okay. Uh, thank you. It says learn everything. They are not mine. Ah, uh -huh. can you repeat that? It's uh, <clears throat> excuse me. They Okay. Ask Dorothy to say it. She can say it better. <laughs> they are not they, but why? What's that? They on day, but why? They are they, but why? It means like they on day is everything, but my hands uh, learn. Day on day, but Yes, and she probably tradition and culture that also comes me from our language is so clean we don't have any vulgar words. I think that's a, one of the first things that's so unique about the Kiowa language. And then another thing is we were taught to respect our brothers and our sisters. And it's a major loss when you lose a when you lose a a brother or a sister. It goes down to the core. Some of them, anem kaman kama, people that had so much respect for their siblings. 
and we stand unique in that and we need to start protecting that there's another tribe that's getting all of our war stories and getting them mixed up and with their own and we don't come out now we don't have to pay a fee to get into Peladuro Canyon but for years we had to pay and this other tribe who had all the glory of losing 1500 horses until it was uh, straightened out. In fact, they didn't do all they said they did. They didn't lose nothing there. And they done that on Omaha Beach last week. We had countless men. I went down the list of our, our warriors that were left there or fell. and what branch of the army they were in and what planes that we had pilots that were prisoners of war. And we have a bunch of heroes and we can't even get one the Medal of Honor. And that should have been a piece of cake. There's seven Kiowa busts at the Hall of Fame here in, in Anadarko. And we're all descendants from them. Different ones. The whole tribe is one big family. They get, they, they don't. And that's why I nominated Kickenbird and Thohawson and Colonel Ware. And all of them are there. For uh, Pascal Pulos here. There's buildings named after him, and yet we can't lobby together and get him the Medal of Honor. I don't think anybody's been lobbied. I don't think anybody's been lobbied. We're all related. That's another good thing. A lot of the Kiowa women could not. It had to be a unique thing if you went with one someone from your own, uh, from your own tribe. You had to make sure. And you, in our day, the grandmas made sure of that. And those couples from that era, like Marty and uh, Corky, they're not any kin. And that's that's good. And the rest of us were married to Dukhoi or off tribes. Well, none of my sisters were married to Kiowa. Very lucky. But in the old days, it was easy. Because they could clarify that real fast. And then now we can uh, we full bloods can't get our our grandchildren on the road sometime because we had to marry out of the tribe, and now we can't get them on there when our folks were both full bloods. Life's not a not an easy road to travel like that if I could just get my my grandkids are not on the road. I thought there were going to decide to put on if they did, they should be on and be uh, enrolled. If the blood quantum is low, I said I was going to be quiet. But... <laughs>
We appreciate that, Grandma. Oh, hello, Hank. Hank, There's Judas. Let's see. Um, let's see. So Miss Marion went. Miss Gra uh, Grandma D Grandma Dorothy went. How about uh, Miss Velma? Would you like to share a phrase that is, is important that we all need to learn? I think you're muted, Miss Velma. Why don't you, uh, Melody, why do not, you not sing us a little bit of uh... <laughs> oh. I think I'll pass. Oh, oh, okay. Um, let me see. Uh, how about Grandma D? <laughs> well, I just think that, uh, I think it's important to know your power name and if your children or grandchildren have names, I think that you should make sure that they know how to pronounce them properly, know what they mean, and never forget it. And write it as easy nowadays. You can, everybody has phones. You just record it on your phone because everybody's, you know, going. And it's sad when people don't know what their name means. Because I've, I've had that happen earlier. I mean, I've seen a little girl at, when we first started this program at Cash. She had her name on a, a by, three by five card and wanted to know what it meant. Somebody gave her a name. And when she said it was some kind of bird, we couldn't help her. So I've seen that right off. So make sure that you know your name, how to pronounce it properly, what it means, whose name it was, your children, and when you when your grandchildren and your children, great grandchildren, whoever those who follow you, make sure they know their name and pronounce it. Like I said, it's, it's easy now. You can record it on your phone. All your prop, uh, uh, information about a name. Good idea, sister. Father, it's so obvious. Uh, that's the first thing they do when we, in the old days, but we can't live like that anymore, I guess. I'll never get it through my head and after I leave this world, but Hanem Tom Kam, you get your name first. And some of them are Edelbild de Icon. I would by no means name myself Oho Mama or Tom Kongoma or I'm saying that because I already asked that question. And we have six yeah. organizations and they're so precious to us and they're being run right, right now. So why, you know, why go to that? We used to have naming ceremonies and don't do that no more. Grandma can name you at home and it's still valid. Try it. 
I got accused of going too far, but I would name them at home even just because everybody's my grandkid. And I have the right. If 90 years doesn't make us qualified, I don't know what would, but you all have the right. You're women. You stay on one side of me like we are now. And also, just because we really want to think I agree with you on that, Dorothy. Because I name my, my grandkids and my great grandkids. Yes. Every now and then I'll call you and ask you if it makes sense. Say. <laughs> And, and go ahead and do it because it's times are passing. We're not promised tomorrow. Well, I was also uh -huh. told that you can name anyone, anytime, anywhere. You don't have to have a <clears throat> a special time. That's your, if you want to, you can, but you don't need to, it's, I guess. What I'm saying, you right. can do at home. Someone can name you whenever. So anyway, so that's that's not a. You, you, have you just name. You know, go be as a, a simple as you want, or go go do more than that if you want. But there's no nothing that tells you you have to be a certain way. You have to be named a certain place. Or... And Dolores, I took the liberty and told one of my war mothers that she would be free to do that next summer. I said, let me converse with Dolores and them, but I'm sure it's all right. Go ahead. And she's uh -huh. a fairly young lady. She's going to name her grandchild this summer. Because we can't wait too long. Judith, you know, you're oh, aware. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. The elders, they you know. Paul. I think we should come on out with that. Everything's all right to me with prayer. And Go ahead and do that and tell them. I was thinking about one for mine and I was trying to be fancy in there. I said, we can name her songbird. <laughs> I got another, another one coming. It's cute. And I named Cricket is Tema. Where you at, huh? Right here. Paint them off. Storytelling woman. Oh. So we were looking at uh, Ben's name, my stepson, and uh, his grandpa named him Gom Gipa Gom It bring he brings a storm because when he was born. Um, a storm came and knocked out the electricity at the hospital. So, <laughs> Gom Gipaba. That's what uh, Steve named him. Uh -huh. So, yeah. is it? Is that Pomba? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to ascertain. How how, how do I say that part? I said go on. Ball 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 ball. Bringing so something. Bringing something. Ball, ball, so ball, that ball. so is that it? Okay, how would I spell that ball ball part? Um, I'm just trying to think if there's a line in there. Hold on a minute. Okay, is it a strike through B? Maybe it may be a B. Yeah. B instead of that P. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's strike through B, A, U, and then B, A. Yeah. Ball, ball. Okay. Ball, ball. Bringing, bringing something. And what is the English for it? Um, brings the, storm. bringing the storm, bringing the storm. Yeah. Ball, ball. 
So is it B-A-U or is it just B-A? It just could be B-A. It doesn't have to have a U in there, but okay. the sound is kind of there. But Bob. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. So strike through B-A. I'm sorry. Miss Marion, did you say something? I was just going to say, if I were looking at it, I would, I would put a B-A-U ball. Because sometimes you put B-A, it would be Bob. Uh -huh. Depends on, you know. Uh, Bob. Just, that's just my. Bob. Unless you put that uh, critic mark upward to the right. Okay, let me. Over the A. Okay, let me do this. Let me spell the, get the. Diacritic, let's see. Go, ah, it doesn't want to do it. I'm trying to do that up over the O. So is it control shift and then oh, it's not letting me. Well, I can't do it, but just the O goes up and then M. Then G Y, hate the, and then the A goes up. I can't get the up sign. And then, and then a strike through B, and then an A. Will it go up again? Ba, go uh -huh. get ba, ba. No, that last A would be down because it's a softer sound. Okay, so but the first. Yeah, it's got a, a little harder sound. Uh, okay, so let me do. I can do the down one. Reason it lets me do that. Let's see. Actually, if it's easier to remember, I would put it like B. Okay. A, the upward sound that you have in a U. Uh huh. I think more people could say it better if you did it that way. Ball. Oh, I think I got it. Okay. Okay, here. I think I'm getting it. Hold on. Hey, And I'm going to send it. I'm going to put it in the thingy just a second. Okay. See if this looks right. Oh, go. Cool. Let's see. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that that's, sounds like you can say it the right way. Gom get ba ba. Ba ba. Ba ba. Do I need to take out that U? No, no, leave it in there. Okay. Ball, ball. The how you pronounce ball, it? Ball. Ball, ball. Ball, ball. Ball, ball. That's the bringing part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ball, ball. Okay. All right. Uh ho. Because Kevin was wanting me to spell it, and I was like, ah, I don't really. <laughs> I was I was part of it. I couldn't figure out. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. Aho. It's hard to keep your mouth shut when you're going to say aho. I always want to say ahoy. Ahoy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just cute. All of you should see through this period about naming your children or whoever you want and go ahead and name them. Well, that's a perfect, perfect way to do it, all of you. The only one we don't have yet still is Thamaroy. We don't have a Kaiwa name for him. Is Thamaroy in uh, Comanche means brings the sun. Yeah. I I lived away quite a while. My children were growing up, and. Uh, I missed out on all the family names because uh -huh. my sisters had already named all of their children. And uh, so I I took one and and uh, used it, but put, used, to, if you check back, some of your ancestors probably had three names. Oh. Because it was a thing at that time for them to have more than one name. 
and I looked out on one of my uncles. And the baby got his name. Um, I, I have a song that I didn't know about and Cornell, Dr. Pee Wee Wardy sent it to me and I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I want to play it. See if y'all can hear it. Where's the microphone on this thing? I'm going to try to see if y'all can hear this. I don't know. I think this is, uh, Jimmy Reader singing. Oh, I know the Purple Heart song. Honey, this is that. Uh, so it has Angel. Yeah. Name is Old Sama. So I don't know. Can y'all hear this? I can send yeah. it to you. Go. go ahead. Can y'all hear it? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let me let me send it to myself and then download it and then. When I have it ready, I'll let y'all know. But anyway, I had never heard it. And um, Marianne, my, one of my grandmas, my Aunt Marianne, she has the name Sultsama. And then my daughter has the name Sultsama. And uh, I didn't know about this song. And it was my Aunt Marianne's favorite song because um, it has Sultsama in it. And uh, anyway, so it's, it's neat and it's Jimmy Reader singing it. So let me send it to myself and when I get it ready, um, mm -hmm. I can play it. Okay. Okay. Are you are you done? Uh, with this scent naming or what they're having uh, the name chain. I heard this from the Purple Heart when they a club when nobody wanted to be a member because that meant one during World War II, because that meant that one of your relatives got wounded or injured. And they formed out of Stecker in that area. And it has some prophetic words, but I didn't I didn't want to try to butt in on them, but I'm they probably won't remember it, but Jimmy put uh, Jimmy's got some good re re that the original people from Stecker put these on, and I just can start out on the words. Uh, Kai was when we went into World War II, we didn't even know how to say German, and we've always had a time with the R's, the letter R, and we we would they would say Jimmy for German. And that's a off. It's it's by no means um, a copy of War Mothers or nothing. This is a fast round dance song. But they say, Jimmy da al dombe de hotta, Jimmy da al dombe de hotta, Gol ya kok ya hulta no be yai gun. It means if I kill one in victory. We'll dance with joy when I come back. And that was one of their theme songs. But they produced that was the Purple Heart. They had a purple purple blanket. I think there's one replica that I've seen. And they would dance with the original Purple Heart on the back of the blanket. And it was Ohoma round dance song. It had that speed. It didn't have the slow. Uh -huh. Cadence, whatever that is, that's uh to me, I used to call that a 49 step. Because the round dance is a little bit like a trot. And uh those women really would dance. They were well organized, the uh, hummingbirds and the dumbos and the wares and all of them. My mother in law, my sister in law's mother. Sinkido to Mel of Maggie. She had two purple hearts. Her sons were pink. and silver horns and silver horns too. Yeah, Wilbur and uh, Earl Palmer. So they originated that step. That comes from the Ridstone uh, Stecker um, Apache area through there by you know where the Wares live. 
all of us that it was a different cadence. It was a different step. And we danced everything the night before my brother Lindreth left. They sang his song and it's never been sung since then. They put a lock on it. I intend to say the words to the guys this fall and let them go ahead and, and sing those. Jack and Q sang them during the war, but they had a, a lock on their names. Roland's song is still locked. But I, before I before I leave this earth, earth, I'm the last one, so I was going to tell Terry and them guys to go ahead and sing them. Maybe November the 11th. Yeah, I, I heard Gus sing that German song. Yeah. It's a Golga When I sing one in victory, Golga Kalkahurta. When I kill a German and I come back, we'll dance in joy. You just want bread and Um. Yeah, I'm totally out of it. They couldn't even bread, say honey, Japanese. Sing them bread. And, um, hold on. I'm going to ask for one more other thing, too. How did they say Japanese? Ah, they say Japanese. Japanese. Oh, Japanese. And they'd say, uh, let's see, how was this one song that make, make you laugh? Bet all highly, hang up all top, I hear ya. Listen, I'm going overseas. Hang up all top I hear ya. I'm stingy for the United States. I don't on my I'm going for the safety of my country. Or if I fall for the flag of the United States, he'll sing for me. Um those two items and then I was gonna ask for a uh, time call old tiger oh, 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 okay yeah there should be enough for us also bread milk and banana yeah so uh, contrary to all that I remember when they were sewing a V dot 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 dash on the war mother I mean the victory club by hand <laughs> I, I remember when the war mothers formed. But we just didn't have the round end songs. There were like Lindra's song says, listen, Betaw Hali. That's an Oklahoma song, but it's got war words. Betaw Hali, Hegap Autop Ahelia. I'm going overseas. Hegap Autop Ahelia. Thank old Tago, I get a do. I dumb all gab on my hey. That's a word in song. Bet oh, holly, a go bot up a heel ya. A go bot up a heel ya. Go thank old Tago, I get a do. I told it all. It's just, um, I'm stingy for the flag, and that's why I'll fall. A chai told it all is the earliest way I heard it being pronounced. When you lose your life for your country, when you when you fall stretched out on your stomach. A told it all. German, oh, I'll don't be hot, oh. German, oh, I'll don't be hot, oh. Call ya cock a hold, oh, no, be I good. That's the kind of songs we had. They're territorial, too. We sing just as hard for things. There's many, many songs. Each family had a song and mm -hmm. still does, and very few recognize them.
or you could still you could still claim one if it wasn't used. So long, you know, and and he go on go but to hundred con they be be a be hang data. Oh yeah, that's all we can do. So long, but oh boy, do we do we have no other way? We're doing the best we can to preserve this. And that's all that is, because a lot of times we've just done it to be doing it. Is that a lot of heroes? Got many heroes. We've got the greatest hero in the whole 500 and some out tribes in the United States, I would venture to say. Cletus Pulo. I still call him Cletus. And I want my sisters, all of you that are mentors, I want, and you, you young ladies that are so rich to the tribe, I want you all to know once and for all that cutthroat uh, gap, the credit goes to Linda Pula, uh, Doris, Doris Koyadotic Pula, and me. We raised that money from the banks in Caddo and Kiowa County. And they paid for the whole project. The, there's a marker up at the place, and there's the one on the highway. The Lisi brothers only gave us a check for $25, and we gave it back to them. I said, thank you, but no thank you. But, and the granite place done it. And I wanted that to be known, too, because those women worked hard. And it came from just wandering around hunting for the spot, and we found it one day. I became very good friends with Professor Haley. Both of us did. And we have him on tape saying, telling the details. But when it says otherwise, I just wanted to, I'm writing all of that stuff down. I didn't just go around being nosy. I always had the Kiowa tribe in my mind. Not rich, I didn't have no way, I didn't, but it got done. Because I lived around many good people. That's why I just figure I can peep around and not criticize, just join and try to help. I had a very unpolitical, kind, brother, and that was Matt Whitehorse and Roland. I never in my life heard them say anything derogatory about anybody. They tended to their culture. Now, I'm going to ask Melody to sing that Little Red Buffalo song so we can all get the words right on that. I still miss them. Melody? Oh, okay. Hey, Ta. And you translate the words or put it someplace and sing it because I like that where the Kaiwas cut their hair on the side so they could reach their arrows. <laughs> That is such a charming little song, and we don't sing it enough. Come on, Melody, sing it. 
Maybe Judy and I can practice it here in Anadarko. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, the let me let me get to a spot where I can sit. Should teach it to the guys too. Melody, I have um the words on a lesson plan. Do you want me to put them up on the screen while you're singing it? Sure. Okay. I was trying to find one to share. Trying to look in the if you have it handy, that would be awesome. Yeah. To me, I just uh, love this. Have you... I know we were in Northern France. I have France. a question. We were in Northern France and uh, Kenny Harry Garrison. Dorothy, sing that Little Red Buffalo song and I'll be darn I couldn't think of it. And I didn't I didn't know that part about the hair anyway. But I remember he asked me and I made it a promise to myself. Can y'all see it? Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right, go oh. ahead, everybody. I'm going to mute myself. Um, oh, uh, hey, I think uh, Miss Marion had something to say. Miss Marion, did you have a question or a comment? Oh, I was just going to ask if she had sent that the words to, you know, each person in the class. This, I see it right here in language content. The words to the song. You all follow it. Perhaps you could send us each a copy, a uh, melody, or <laughs> is there some way you could, after you sing it? I can email it to Melody, and Melody can forward it to everybody. Oh, cricket. Aww. Thank you. Oh, oh. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, okay that's what Okay. It's on your left side. Melody's got a good singing voice, but she's the granddaughter of Ruth Redberg. Go ahead, Melody. Okay, see if I can remember it. It's been a minute. Um, <laughs> where are we? Oh. I was trying to find the one that we uh, wrote out together. I think I found it. Okay. Um, Guli Guli Mahaba Aim Song Ah, Guli Guli Mahaba Aim Song Ah, Ain Got O Begu Al Ons Allah Got It Da Hold Da, But Got But Got It I Aim Going Day On Aga The Hunter. Uh -huh. Melody. Hande? I've just said your name. Uh I'm going I'm I lost the tune. I'm going to Tana Gahanta. I'll go hanta. Boat I'll get hanta. I'm going to Tana Gahanta. I'm going to Tana go. Hanta. Yeah. Go hanta. Eat you. Eat you. <laughs> and then all, all I'll go hanta. Both I'll go get hanta. Darn, she's going to eat your kidneys and he's going to eat your <laughs> stomach and they'll eat your boat. <laughs> that, that middle line always gets me. So the anga, oh, begu, I'll. Uh, all cone, all cone, uh, all cone gets That means they have black hair and it's cut on the right side. It's kind of cones alaga. All cones, 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 all uh, well. Yeah. 
Hinga Topegu Alcon Salaga De Taholda Bat Goedai. That means run. Goedai. I'm going to eat on a gahanta. I'll go hanta. Both I'll get hanta. Gully, gully, mahaba, it's on a gully, gully, mahaba, it's on a. I'm going to take you out of Consalaga. Take the whole Let me see. Okay, so the translation of the so inga op begu uh or top top opegu 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 um and that's these ones. The oh, black baby. hair short on the side. Mm -hmm. It's old Kaiwa, the way they're describing the hair cut. And that's ha. Kaiwa warriors. That's Kaiwa warrior men. They cut their hair short on that side so they could on the right side so they could reach their arrows from their from the back with the right hand. I wonder uh, is are those the words that would go well? Well, that would kind of describe, you know, the the sign for Kiowa. How we, you know, when you sign sign language. Exactly. Yes. Uh, exactly. That's right. <laughs> that's what I think of when your you right, say that. Your right hand down on the right side of your, you know, by your ear almost, and you you're moving that to show you. And you oh. see the. I first heard it from Alicia. You know, I heard it a long time ago, but I didn't listen. And then her instructions are right to your right side. And his name was Gulei because the little red buffalo is a Gulei. Like that Tonkonga song. Gulei do de. Well, when they found him, he was on the side of the road and he was, uh, they thought it was a baby buffalo. That's why the description is the same. Between, uh, he became a war chief of uh, Black Pagans. Good old a you know, talking about the red cape. He um took that blanket and as um um and like a captured item. A gold boy, a gold mm -hmm. Yeah, I captured that red blanket. Good old a dog, a go boy, a a a a a a So everything connects with the Kiowa tribe. There's a connection. Kaiwas don't have to go and hunt for a history. Grandma Dorothy, can you sing a Guhei song again? Mm -hmm. Okay. Guhei, uh, uh, there's a, a stance in the front and then say, Guhei, do de soli katai ki ho hail go. He he captured a gulhei daughter. Solicata, he held a Mexican officer. 
Yeah. And he grabbed that red cape off of his shoulders. Little cardoy dog or a gobo. So he got that key hole, hey little dog. Little cardoy dog or a gobo. And I just named uh, Little Miss Silverhorn's a baby as a town name, a Kiowa name, and I called her Gobe Man. There's hundreds of Gobe Man. That's, uh, that's good. She's a little bit of cute, cute girl. So all of our stories connect, even the Cheyenne women that would come, I mean, they once would come back from being captive. We have stories. Story after story, and we have songs to cover them. Grandma, um, so this, uh, the Red Buffalo, the Little Red Buffalo song, uh, uh -huh. the Ghoulie song, uh, my dad said that it could be sung to a uh, Tonkonga a shuffle dance so beat with a drum. And he said that it's to teach uh, the kids the beat to our Tonkonga songs, the the shuffle dance beat for Tonkonga, because of the way the tune is. I thought that was interesting. He sang it for my kids like that uh, with the with the hand drum when they were little. Yeah. Well, uh, they didn't know it was really found at the Smith. It was found by Marion Wolf's family. That song, I, I was a big. Uh, I was there when they gave it to Gus, and he that played was the song. And they learned the yeah. song. They oh, they learned the song at Amhula's house at a at a. Uh, I was there. I never missed it because it was two miles down the road, and they introduced it to Joe Fish. And him and Lawrence Ware in that bunch, they uh, decided what kind of dance to make of it. Actually, nobody really knew, you know, what what beat it was. But that song was in existence, and Marion's grandfather presented it to the Black League, and, and it was on a cassette. You remember, Marion? Marion. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So y'all would know yeah. more about it. The ones the ones I've seen that were are more authoritative on things at the Smithsonian and the care of them is Marion and Dr. Everett Rhodes. I went into the guts of the building. Yeah. I guess all of you have. And I got to observe white horses' uh, horns. So it was Marion's uh, grandpa, James Stu Hatchet. Yes, that's where. And that yes, song was. He uh, was raised by a boy who is a song. Oh, you might ask Trace if she can get some ice because they were all out of ice over there. Oh, okay. I'll ask her tomorrow. But that little ghoulie is really cute. I like that. <laughs> and, and I like the way they describe the Kiowa warrior. I can just imagine how regal they looked with their hair cut on that side. Oh, and for a modern time at the speech deal the other day, I want to mention this real quick. Uh, Melody, it was your, the ones that made the little bags out of that rawhide. That oh, was yeah, uh, Courtney and Alice Ann. I love that. And, Isn't uh, it cute? That was such a good idea. <laughs> I have a pair of earrings that are were all hide, you know, and it's painted. And they're that uh they're that uh how would you say it? They're that's that kind. 
And where do you get it? Do you know? Uh, Hanya Haiga, but I don't know if uh, Cricket, do you remember where Courtney and Alice Ann got their supplies? Hi. This okay, is Courtney. Courtney. Oh, goody. There's Courtney. Okay. Oh, hey, yeah. Courtney. <laughs> I'm here. I joined late, but we got it from uh, Traditions Leather is what we used to make. The bags we did at Language Camp. It was... Uh, and I want to ask you one more thing. How many... <laughs> How many have ever eaten eaten really raw kidney? Man, all of us. <laughs> <laughs> raw liver? Yeah. I I eat it. <laughs> I cook it, right? And raw kidney's pretty good if you wash it pretty good, I guess. <laughs> I had to when I was little. It was a rite of passage at my grandma's house. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Grandpa always ate it raw. See, Ghoulie, teacher can read the story about Ghoulie. There's target words in it. Students will listen and repeat the words. Grandma, you want to hear the song one more time? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. I would take that as an instruction, you guys. And got a peg of cons a la got it on hold on bad goitai. I'm going date on a gohanta. I'll all gohanta. But I'll get honta. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> All of our, all of our uh, nursery, you know, when we're putting a baby to sleep or we're scaring a little grandson, they're supposed to end with, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that sound, whoa, whoa. Like that, oops, a puddle, my day, on St. Paul, on hill. And crazy guys that made that, uh, Cute little uh, film. They put a northern sound to cope some pulling. It sure sounds good. The drum beat. Um, could you uh, kind of make a, you guys make an announcement? One of our best. I'll I'll go so far as you mentors remember, I think. Mr. Pullman. Where is he? Tell him to come on sometime. He was such a fluent Kiowa speaker. Oh, he had good sound. And I've, been, had, I've been wondering where he is too. I haven't even heard. I was trying to find out. I prayed for him today, and I want him to get in touch with us. He came on knowing how to talk, Kiowa, and he could oh. sing. I've been worried about him. Just say he's okay. That's good enough, but he's, he's one of the first ones. I'm glad I got that said. I think uh, last year... When I last talked to him, he said, Shall we all try to learn that Gule uh, song? Oh, oh. That's my favorite song. Oh. Hey, uh, Grandma, uh, I think Miss Marion was ha making a comment. Miss okay. Marion, it was hard to hear you. Okay. 
Marion. Miss Hampton. He said, yes, uh, I'm there. That uh, his name is Eli Baldwin. They were saying that his wife had a uh, new baby. That's the last time we ever heard anything from him. Uh, I was wondering, you know, about that. Um, must be busy with his new family. Oh, it would be so neat if you but we could all learn it. I know the tune, but I just can't. Uh, I like the part where it says, but goida. That means when somebody scares you with harsh words or, or they're mean or something, they say, get goida. Or atomag, yeah. That's a cute little word. I'm just sitting here hiding. <laughs> you should, y'all should have one session with just funny sayings. Like if you're about to, uh, if you're like to lose your temper, you say, talk all about they told you. They're walking on the edge. <laughs> and then most of this, the humor is always toward ourselves. I don't know how many times I've called myself Zame Te and Sopolma and I own or stuff like that. That's the beauty about the Kaiwa language. The humor is supposed to be on ourselves. Do we want to go over these words? Can we say each line? Like... Could could the elders say gooly gooly maha ba and so on ah and then we'll say it and then we'll go each line like that so we can kind of get these words formed in our mouths. Yeah. Okay. What you think, uh, Melody? And that's oh. quick. Okay. So, Grandma, uh, Grandma Dorothy, will you start us out? Melody, you want to lead I'll us? I'll start you. Gul hei, gul hei. But the song is a tempo where you say gul hei, gul hei. Now. Okay. Y'all go on. Y'all got. Y'all know them. Your your voices are clearer. Do you want to say the whole um this whole part right here? One of you or melody, both of y'all do it. <laughs> Okay, uh, Guli, 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 Maha Ba Aim So On. Okay, Guli, Guli, Maha Ba Aim So On. And then it goes, Guli, Guli, Maha Ba Aim So On. Y'all got it? Somebody else needs to go and say it. Judy? Uh, let's see. Who do you want to say? Judy? Oh. Courtney said she's listening in. Oh. Gooly, gooly, mahaba, and so on. All right. Carolyn? Gooly, gooly, mahaba, and so, uh, okay. all right. Any of the other elders want to say it? Miss Marion? Mariah, are you? I will. Okay. Gooly, gooly. Maha ba in so uh. Good. All right. Um, so we've already said that. We've said it again. Okay, now here's for the hard one. Uh, I'm going to say that first part of it. Grandma Dorothy and uh, 
opegu a consolego. Can you say that part for us? Hide under my legs, a gully, gully, mohobo, and so on. Where is it at? Let's see. The highlighted part. No. Ain't got no. opegu a consolego. Hey, uh, Cricket, yeah. can I uh, share with you a, a document uh, where we did like the breakdown of all the words one time? Okay, um, go ahead. The different orthographies. Um, let me, uh, I can uh, sh share you the link real quick. Mm -hmm. oh, or I guess I could try to share it. Let's see. Hey, Thaw, Bega, I lost it. It might be easier for uh, our mentors to see. Um, let me see what the name is of it. Little Buffalo. Okay, I think this is it. Um, all right, let me share. Oh, I lost. Where'd my Zoom go? Okay. Try this. Okay, can you see, it should say Little Buffalo Calf. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down. So we did it in different orthographies. Um, and here's the word breakdown. Yeah, and here's, the where breakdown. We, here's where we are right now. So, <laughs> Uh, let's see. Maybe uh, let's see. Uh, Ogukoma. Would you be able to start us off with pronouncing this so we can get the tones? You can see there's no tones in there, but I can try to put the tones in if after all of our mentors pronounce it for us. Okay. Anga opegu alkont alagi the whole ta. That's it. That's the uh, al counts al. How did you say it? But the al counts alaga. Al counts alaga. Alaga. They the whole the. They the whole the. They the whole the. Okay. Nako. And got oak begu a consola god de da holda. I'll try. And got oak begu a consola god de da holda. And Count a lot of black hair on the side cut. Go hold the oh, that's the hardest part. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like the way they cut, they describe the haircut, though, you know, on the right side. That was a Kaiwa warrior. Uh, Miss Judy, do you want to try? Uh, <laughs> okay. Anga, Tok, Begu, Alkonts, Alaga, De, Da, Holda. And it's his anger right here. The guy with his hair cut on the side is going to kill you. But go ahead. Go hold it. Go hold 
Oh, anyone else? Let's see. Who else do we have on? Oh, I guess Courtney's listening. Uh, Aunt Carolyn, did you try it already? Is it line three? Paul. Uh, Martha Nell, can you say it again? Hmm. Ain't obey you. All cards are all gone. They the hold down. They the hold down. The long line. Ain't got obey you. All cards. All are all hold down. Down. Now say that ten times fast. Hey. <laughs> that's what I need to do. <laughs> that's what I need it to do because that's uh they they study that side yeah. because we Kaiwas were hardly ever described with that description. Thank God. They do. Oh. I want to get that straight. Oh, yeah. I've heard it, but I never did. Uh, I catch it when you say Batkoidai. And I first heard it from Alicia. Oh. You know what? Uh, for the for the teachers, um, it might be fun. Like if you're thinking of a doing a lesson on this, uh, is uh, we can make a little handout. You know, so you can print it off and put it on the wall for the kids, or give it to the parents. But when you get to that part, we could put sign language to it and show the sign for Kiowa. You know how we cut our hair on the side. Yeah. yeah. Show. <laughs> oh. I, I think, think that'd be that, cute. <laughs> well, it'd really be cute because that's the way you describe the warrior with, by that cut, that haircut. And I wanted to get that clarified because I learned this from Alicia, Doris uh, Clay Dotty, and uh, Mr. Milton No. And Marion Hansen. Okay. Paul. Oh. Uh did everyone everyone go? Thank you. Okay, let's no let's do line four. Line four. Uh co uh start with Grandma Dorothy. Or right here. Line four. You and uh cricket are more plausible. You have the clearer <laughs> voice than me. So okay. Good job, and you have to be doing this anyway, so y'all go ahead. I'm just afraid I'm going to say it wrong with the tones. Uh, Nobody's going to laugh. Nobody's, do, I don't know if y'all do it wrong, you know, but the pronunciation is really important. The line oh. four is but boy, die. But Yeah, but boy, die. Yeah, but boy, die. But boy, die. But boy. Die. But boy. Go eight, go eight, I. Run, start running, but go eight, I. Go eight, I. Fearfully, hey, <laughs> run fearfully. <laughs> but go eight, I. But go eight, go eight, I. 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 That's it. I. I. A. I is to go. You know, I. Oh. It would be but, like I'd, I'd come in a room where you're all at and hey, God, son, but go ahead, I. But <laughs> Run away. <laughs> and I have ups on all of those. I have bot, <laughs> so bot is up, goy is up, eight is up, and I is up. AI is up. But go ahead, I. But go ahead, I. And and you you mentors the the middle bunch 
this is the last opportunity. I mean, you're you're gonna have to you're gonna have to learn that that middle. Uh, I'm not saying you have to, but you better because uh, Martinelle's saying it just right. Go <laughs> ahead. Just like that too, but go ahead. That means you run or but go ahead. That little swerve means let's all run. <laughs> <laughs> you could say say a little phrase and say um mia kiheim go get go ahead. So yeah, <laughs> some pronouns in there, but I got real scared and I ran away. <laughs> <laughs> And that's why I told mind you. That's why I'm sitting here hiding. <laughs> Sometimes somebody, some people can go at you when they just talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> you think, don't did I make a mistake or what? Ain't on Wally. What about that one, Martha? Yeah. <laughs> Let me say, ran me off. Yeah, ran you off. Come on, <laughs> That's what we do to one politician. Poor thing. Every time he shows his name, they always don't want him. <laughs> I'll be praying for him. I'll say hi again, though, my God. Let's pray for him. <laughs> like Che Guevara, when you keep running him off. Hmm. Anybody else want to try? Carolyn? Oh. Easy phrase. Oh. <laughs> but. 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 Go eat. Go eat. I. Go eat. I. Go eat. I. Like that. Go eat I. Like three separate oh, words. Go eat Go eat I. Go eat I. Yes. But go eat I. Mm-hmm. But go eat I. Good. Kyle Warrior's going to catch you and they're going to eat you if you don't get out of the way. <laughs> And that's how you sing to a little boy. I was so, you know, when they're being unruly. <laughs> you know, they're going to come and they're going to come and they, and they're, that schoolie, they're singing to the little bitty red buffalo. What about that picture of same day sitting in Cope's Pope's bag? That's my favorite one. <laughs> We've got a darn long history, y'all know it. Mm. Oh. Same, day, same day is going to his last judgment and he's sitting up in the bag like he's I beam Sadel. He was in the bag. In the bag. He was having to. Uh, 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 uh. Um, oh. Okay. How, how about this next one? Um, line five. <laughs> it's cute. Go ahead, y'all. Don't waste no time on me. I'm thinking about our one rabbit dance song we got left. Going date on a go home to. Home to. Home to. Go home to. Yeah, I'm going to eat. Going date on a go home to. Going date on a go home to. I'm going to go uh, no, go hunt. Mm -hmm. 
It's cool. Dang, devour. <laughs> That's pretty descriptive. <laughs> it's cute. Anyone else want to try? I'm going to date a Naga Hanta. Perfect. I'm going to date a Naga Hanta. Oh, okay, let's see. Two more. All right, uh, line six. Um, go oh. gook. Okay, all I'll go hunt. All I'll go hunt. Oh. Oh. Uh, all 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 go hunt all Go on, mm -hmm. Good. Perfect for everybody. <laughs> okay, last one. Line seven. It's a good coma. Coma. Buddha, Buddha, I'll get hunter. Buddha, I'll get hunter. Yeah. Oh, I'll get hunter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll oh, get hunter. Hey, how come one of them is ga and one of them is gut? Because kidneys is more than is two and stomach is one. Isn't it like a lot? Ga. Or does it count as one? <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, one is ga and one is gat. Yeah, because it's uh whoever's yeah. whoever's gonna do the eating there's <laughs> they're gonna yeah. eat their stomach and that stomach is pretty big, you know. It's got a lot of pieces to it. Okay. <laughs> get home. The main thing is to get the sound and the uh, and then uh -oh. perfect your pronunciation uh -oh. later, but this is yell all sound good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, who oh. else? Uh, I don't know why I ask, oh. but uh, it's almost the 4th of July. And uh, we have we have very few rabbit dance songs left. Wow. I'm just putting a thought in your head for next week. Try to dig some up, because we're singing the black horn song. We're singing the nursery rhymes for the the Sundance mm -hmm. dust hauling song. We're singing that for our rabbit song, and we need to get those categorized too. And I think it's the only one that depends on y'all bringing them up. See, we see how many you can pull up. I can only put a bun about the comsa that's a little rabbit. Hey, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, hi, yeah, oh, hey, yeah, yeah. And that's, I had, I had the Apabo goat. This Arapahoes sure are greedy for buffalo. <laughs> that's the only rabbit song I know. And Kobop Kange Komso in Tanta at the end of the mountains, there's a little rabbit peeping at me. And that's all we got as far as I know. And y'all need to come up. Uh, I mean, if you can pull some up somewhere, because that 
That's a Black Horn song. That's not the other, yeah, that's a Tonkong, yeah. And then there we're singing something else that uh, my bottle pickers for the Sundance. We're dancing to that to our we're teaching that to our children for a rabbit song, and it isn't. Just being a historian, I'm not I'm not correcting anybody. But surely some of y'all have some kind of songs hidden away that you could introduce. Maybe we'll try to learn them. Somebody might know some. Can I share a song with you guys? Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, let me go on here so I can share. Let's see. Share sound. It's sung by Jimmy. That's what I've been doing at home. Put her in a name in there, Sosa Mom. Means uh, angel, angel woman. Sosa, Sosa is uh, angel, angel woman. Sosa Mom. It's her in the name. And uh, the tide, though, is she's with us. It sure did. My feet were going to town. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Reader was the one that was singing. What kind of song is it? I'm a Hanyan Haiga. It's got a northern tongue beat to it and the melody but the words are very pretty what are they how to know how to get dark on say the words cricket um well uh, he was saying that it was uh sold some which is winged women and then uh that she was she was here right i mean yeah. i with us here let me we can go back and listen um told so my yeah yeah 
but okay, what but... kind of song was that? Yeah. And said it's a fancy shawl song. <laughs> yeah. Very pretty. From the north, I guess. What you think, Judith? And what you yeah, think? Huh? I think it's a fancy shawl dance song. Uh -huh. <laughs> Made you want to get up, bigger. Uh -huh. <laughs> let me let's oh, hear what God. he says. He says the words in the beginning. I think. Let's yeah. Go. And Wait. Marion likes it. And what do you think? That's good. I like it. It made me want to show that. <laughs> The words were in there, but I think I put them in too soon. Yeah, bottles, the way he's singing. Uh -huh. So, anyway, I'll sing it because it did sound right earlier, so. Okay. Oh, I thought he was going to call it. a song that she likes, oh. her favorite song, so she put her Indian name in there, Sosa Mom. It means uh, angel, angel woman, Sosa. Is, Sosa is uh, angel, angel woman, Sosa Mom. She is with yes. us. With us. Yeah. Gataido. Gataido. Oh. And that's true. We all have our angel with us. <laughs> yep. Our guardian angel. My own two girls are my oh. warm mother angels. <laughs> with you all the time. Oh, this is good. I like it, Kevin. Christian song that is Christian. Vivian Vivian Camartley sang me a song many years ago. That was their great grandmother, and that was a church song, but that was about her seeing two angels. But it was way long time ago. And this is pretty. I have an Angela too. So I like it. I like it. So I'm wondering, we'll have to ask Jimmy Reader did. Mary, did he add those words in for Marianne to that song or how did that come about? We'll have to ask him because I just got this song um, last weekend. So anyway, I'm just wanting to know more about it. It's pretty. Anything suitable now in our, in our, but it, it has, uh, a good sound to me. It's, it's it's the way we do things nowadays because we can't. Uh, I have many, many, and I'm sure Dolores does, of recordings of Tony Isaacs. I know you all do. And we've learned the sounds of different tribes. Even Mac Whitehorse's adopted song has got northern sound to it. And he loved it. And that was his personal song. And he kept the bustle. So it's, I'm sure it'd be permitted. Who would, who would disapprove? We have to do things. It's up to you guys now. You and your companions, the ones that are still lucky enough to have your companions. I've been alone since I was 50 years old. <laughs> so take heed and just do just so it's ending, is what I have to say. And Iowa, we're the orators now. People are going to be looking at you guys. I can't even hardly hear anywhere without my hearing aids. I have to use a walker now. I can't dance anymore. 
My war mother says, said they dance for me. So I know, I know my, when I, when I start to embarrass you, I'll, then I'll stay, I'll stay home. But I, I enjoy talking. We all do. But Dolores and I are still with you all. For as long as we can. Pray for us. When they get hot, eh? <laughs> it's fun. Oh. Or, or like Rudy Bantista said one time at Black Leggings, it's about 110, and he said, when they get hot. <laughs> 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 when you got that kind of memories, nothing can set you down. Judith just lost, we all lost somebody through this bout. Velma, Judith, and all of you. Just keep on, and if I holler at y'all, it's only old age. <laughs> I hope for helping us, Grandma Dorothy. Oh, uh -huh. we appreciate all of you. You're all our angels. Oh, thank you. And I hope. And if you want to add something a little bit more in the future, all of you say, Aho de Batha. Aho de Batha. And I would say Aho. that would mean thank you very much, you know, or take my thanks. Aho de Batha. All of you, thank you. And I can't help it, it's just in, embedded in me to explain a sentence where there are several meanings to it. And that's the that's Sakai where my mother uh, talked. And it is my first language. Because they didn't speak a word of English. I'm old enough to remember, and I'll say it over and over, Velma Ruth. Uh, they delivered me some, Randy brought me some pictures when I was a little girl from a long time ago. And uh, he found them in Dixon's things. It made me cry. And then there's, uh, he, uh, I remember Velma Ruth, the Palmer brothers used to play catch with her when she was about six months old. I remember when each of you were born. Remember playing with cricket. She's a little pretty girl. Judith, I remember all of y'all. It's just a good life. A melody has got it together. Y'all are. I know the ones of you that lived with it. Y'all all have a good background. It's my Yatma Marty. Oh, Marion was so what happened? Sound went off. Oh. Uh, well, oh.
Mm -hmm. I didn't hear Dorothy. We got cut off, I think. Oh, well, that's okay. Oh, um, well, it's after nine. I guess we should uh, close up for the evening. Uh, let's see. Oh, gook, oh, ma. Uh, can you bait outside for us? Marion. 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 On day. On day. On day. Nanette's going to put the information on for you tomorrow. The number. Oh, okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Oh. Oh. Are we going off now? Oh, I think somebody's supposed to pray. Well, let's see. Uh, Grandma Martha, are you still on here? You know, I don't think she's there. Oh. I don't see her. Oh, well, there she is. She's there. Maybe she stepped away. Maybe she. Hey, Grandma. Wait outside. Tom, Tom, Mom, Dolly, Dolly. Get our tents on, get. They got, they got. Got on, get. Get my hammer. They all day. Got to get on, but the army go. Don't get get army day. Got time to up on my target. Get hard it all. They, but time do they. Get on the Zubik. Get ill by the lamb. I'm saying hi to the dog, he's got to the dog, they say, hey, pay up, I let's talk her own time to get a dog, get a dog, the dog, the dog, I can't pay the one dog, the dog, the dog, the dog, the dog, Not 